Hi, welcome back. I want to talk with you today about quadratic function. So a quadratic function is any function that can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And you may remember from previous courses that this function makes a specific type of shape. And it makes what we call a parabola. And it makes a parabola that looks like that, so it opens upwards, if A is positive. And it makes an upside-down parabola if A is negative. Now, you may also remember that this point right here has got a special name. And that name is the vertex. And that vertex is very important for graphing parabolas because parabolas are symmetrical about the line that goes through that vertex. In other words, let me, let me graph a parabola here. Let's graph the parabola f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay, and we can see that the vertex here is at the point negative 2, negative 3, and I'll show you how to find that point without resorting to a graph, because sometimes it's not going to be on a nice grid line, but this time let's just pop a vertical line in through there. And just for grins, I'm going to go ahead and make it dashed. Okay. So what I want to point out to you is that if we look at, for example, the point negative 1, negative 2. I can see that that point is on my parabola. I can also see that that point is one unit. Let me change my grid so that it's better. Yeah, yeah, I can do it this way if I do this and that. Okay, that's better. So we can see that that point is one unit to the right of my line of symmetry. There's also another point, one unit to the left of my line of symmetry, which is the point negative 3, negative 2. So I'm one unit off from my vertex in either direction, and I'm one unit above in both cases. If we do this again, there's another set of lines of points that are symmetrical. There's one at, so if I plug in x is 0, I'm going to get out y equals 1. So the point 0, 1 is on my parabola. And there's a point 2 units on the other side of my vertex at negative 4, 1. So if you understand symmetry, you can actually reduce the amount of work that you need to do in order to graph a parabola. Because you only have to graph one side. Because you got the other side through symmetry. Cool. Huh. Alright, now I promised you I would show you how to find that vertex. And it turns out that for any function, any quadratic function in this form, the vertex can always be found at the points negative b over 2a. In other words, that is the x-coordinate of the vertex. And then the y-coordinate is whatever the function output is at that x. So let's look at this, this guy we had a minute ago, x squared plus 4x plus 1. So consider... the function at 
f of x equals x squared plus 1. If we want to find the vertex, we know that the x-coordinate of the vertex is at negative b, which is 4, divided by 2 times a, which is 1, which is negative 2. And we know that the y-coordinate of the vertex is at f of negative 2, which is negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 1. So that's 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So my vertex is at the coordinates negative 2, negative 3, which is exactly what Desmos told me. Okay, we're going to do a couple of other things with, uh, well, let, let's keep on with this one. We've got time. So let's look at this graph. We can see that it's got two x-intercepts because we cross the x-axis here and here. Now, those are not very nice, readable graphing points. So how would we find those? Well. You may or may not remember the quadratic formula from previous courses, but it turns out, and actually we're going we're gonna to talk about this in a separate video, and I will show you how to find those x-intercepts, even though they're not nice, readable points in your graph, and even though this thing does not factor, which would be our other option. So... Come watch the next couple of videos to get the answer to all your questions. I'll talk to you soon.